Well, dear friend, I'm very happy to present you new functionalities regarding uh, Virtual Universe Pro and the possibility of the coming version to simulate machines uh, in the cloud. It means that uh, the machines can now be simulated on a server and clients uh, can connect to the same simulation to see at the same time the same simulation. You should uh, have received a link to, del to download the uh, preview package this package so if you do not receive it do not hesitate to ask of course I will send you um, after uh, you will run the installation you should see this shortcut on your desktop this shortcut will allow you to launch the preview so let's do it you should see this window when you launch the preview you may receive a warning from your antivirus when you launch this preview because uh, this preview is really connecting to one of our server running the simulation so uh, if you receive this warning please just allow this preview to connect to the web as we can see uh, we have uh, a nice uh, preview, photo rendering preview. Uh, please uh, run this preview on uh, a PC with a good video card, uh, typically uh, Nvidia or uh, concurrent card. Uh, for me, I'm running uh, now with Knight uh, 80M video card and uh, this is uh, very very fast for rendering as you can see uh, we have 60 frames per second refresh time which is not so bad so how does this uh, simulation runs uh, one more time it is running on a server and uh, this is why we have an another information which is the latency time on here typically around 50 milliseconds it means that uh, when I do something on this simulation by example clicking on the glass uh, this information is going to the server and is refreshed on the 3D view after 50 milliseconds which is not so bad of course it will depend of your internet connection speed but uh, as we can see on here it exchange a very very small amount of bytes per second so uh, even if you have uh, 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 not so uh, good uh, uh, internet connection it should run in fact the important thing is the latency uh, not so uh, the quantity of byte per second you can't change but the time for your connection uh, to uh, send and receive the data okay so uh, let's play with this uh, simulation we can uh, click on the glasses to open and close as you can see when uh, the cursor is moved under uh, one piece uh, which can be activated or do something it change the color and when you click it turn to red so green when you can do something you click it's red on this simulation uh, these two buttons uh, are enabled this one can be used to reset completely the simulation it also reset the boxes position and this one when the red light on here is flashing can be used to launch the machine okay we can also take the boxes put them somewhere like this 
when you pick a box you also enable to use the navigation from the mouse the navigation from the mouse uh, is as follow I can use the right mouse button and move the mouse to move like this I can use the wheel of the mouse to zoom I can push the wheel and let it down and move the mouse to move completely the view so one more time when I pick an object I'm able to use this command by example zooming to move the box on the conveyor okay so how does it work on the server side I'm going to connect remotely to my server and we can see that there is only Virtual Universe Pro running as a server and showing only statistics how many clients are connected how many bytes are sent as we can see the amount of data is very low for this simulation in fact uh, the communication is very optimized between the server and the client so uh, one of the things you can do to have fun is to connect for more than one than one PC with a preview it means that you will be able to see at the same time the same simulation from different PC and also interact from these different PCs uh, I can do it on here by launching simply a second instance of the simulation of course this is more fun if you do it uh, from more than one PC and of course if I do something on here I can see the same on the other PC if I pick these boxes I can see the same on here by example okay dear friends I hope uh, it could be interesting for us uh, the, f the, the field of uh, this product I imagine with these new functionalities is uh, by example for education for a teacher to, to show a system to, to, to the students on, uh, on more than one PC of course and uh, the teacher and students can uh, interact with uh, the, the machine also for uh, industrial application uh, we can imagine uh, a machine builder showing the functionalities uh, of a machine to uh, to a customer online and the customer can also interact with a machine or also show a problem on the machine and this is uh, the things I imagine with this uh, with this system uh, the development is far from from for the end uh, I'm going to add some player for smartphone and tablet in the for the same system and uh, uh, the users can also interact from the tablets or, or smartphone with a uh, with the system and also I'm going to add some menu uh, from which uh, uh, the users uh, will be able to to select a uh, system from library to to use it and also i'm going to add the possibilities to uh, send uh, a program uh, created uh, with automgen or some other uh, system some other workshops uh, and send the program to program the, the machine in the cloud and uh, uh, see in 3d and connected uh, the the, the result of the program okay uh, I hope uh, it will uh, be interesting for us do not hesitate to uh, to make some remarks it uh, will help me a lot uh, for these new uh, developments one more time thanks a lot and uh, hope it will interest you